Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you a very awesome, very easy outfit glitch today. I'm going to teach you how to get the IAA badge and how to save it. And on top of that, I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom outfits with the IAA badge and save them as well. All you need to do is have your jobs turned on on your map so you can find this job right here and you can do this on old gen and new gen and but first please go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and join my minecraft and gta discord servers link will be in the in the description and let's get started and let's get into today's video so all you will need to do is on old gen is to open up your interactions menu you know, and go to jobs and turn all jobs to show. Now on new gen you just need to go to interactions menu, go to map blimp options and you want to set all jobs to show just like how I have it. So all my jobs are showing on the map. Now I already have the IA badge on this outfit. This is a custom outfit I made. The original outfit that I was able to get. It was this one here. This is the outfit that I saved from the mission. Now there are six missions ends, but it doesn't matter which one you're on. If you're on the first one, last one, somewhere in the middle, doesn't matter. You can still get the IAA badge. So it's very easy, very, very easy. So to show you that it does work, I'm going to grab another IAA badge outfit and not grab the same one this time. I'm, But it is very easy. You can do this completely solo by yourself. But if you do need help, someone in my GTA Discord server will be more than glad to help you. But you can do this on the Grand Theft Auto Expand and Enhance version for Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. You can also do it for Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC. And you can also do it for Grand Theft Auto 5 for Xbox One and PS4 or versions as well so all you need to do is walk up here to this yellow circle and press right on your d-pad to start the job now i will tell you this here these jobs you can start by yourself so you do not need a friend but if you like to help out a friend get the badge you can and so you can invite your friend to your to your uh to your job and then he can get the badge now if you don't want the badge or you already have the badge and you're helping your friend and then all your friend wants to do is just follow these steps once the job starts what I'm going to be showing you you know, all he wants to do is follow those steps and you just want to make sure you don't get kicked for being idle while your friend is doing these steps so all you want to do is go ahead and confirm everything and it doesn't really matter what you set this all for because you're not going to be actually doing the job. You're just loading into it. And like I said, you can launch these missions by yourself. You do not need a second person with you. But whoever would like to get the badge, you can help them get the badge as well. So I'm just going to launch the mission. Now, I am going to pause the video right here pretty soon. Because there is a cutscene and I do not want to get copyright strike for a cutscene and also I do not want to spoil anything and so I will be back with you once I start up the actual um, like get into the job um, but yes that's what you want to do so here we are this is where we choose our outfit that we want to get so I already own this one so my other options is this one here, or that one, or this one, and we back to this one. All outfits are the same for all, uh, for all the jobs except for the last job at the end. You're wearing a little bit more body armor for protection. Uh, I'm not going to spoil why, 
But um, for the last job, for the sixth job in the series, you are wearing a little bit more protection of body armor. All right. So I'm going to go with this outfit here, and I'm going to ready up. But before I ready up on my screen, I'm going to pause the video here because there is a cutscene, and I will sit there, and I will be back with y'all uh, once the cutscene is over because I don't want to spoil anything for y'all if y'all have not done the missions yet or y'all have started the missions yet in your game. Just like I said, y'all, I am back. I do not want to spoil the cutscene for y'all or get copyright struck. But now that I'm inside the actual mission here and I spawned it, it I'm still outside of the building that we started at. I have not gone anywhere. But what you want to do is open up your interactions menu. You know, and you want to go to style. You want to go to illuminating clothing. And you want to scroll through it for 30 seconds. That's all y'all want to do right here. Y'all want to scroll through it for 30 seconds. And then you want to make sure when you're done scrolling, you set to on. So after 30 seconds, no. After 30 seconds or so, you just want to make sure you can put it on on. So I'll just do it for a couple more seconds here. Just want to scroll for 30 seconds or so. So as you're just scrolling through, you just want to go ahead and stop right there on. Then you want to go up to Helmet Visor, scroll through that for 30 seconds. It's, and then you also want to do it for... For Auto Show Bike Helmet. You want to do both of those for 30 seconds. Now these tier two, it doesn't matter which one you have it set to when you're done, but you want to scroll through both of them for 30 seconds or so. Just scroll through them for like 30 seconds. Now sometimes you'll be able to hit this glitch right on the first time, but now sometimes you won't be able to. So you might have to try it over and over again. I was able to do it yesterday as you saw I already had the IA badge before recording this and I was able to hit it first try. Hopefully I will be able to hit it first try again here. But it is July 28th as the time of filming this video. So I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds or so. Then you want to go down to Auto Show Biker Helmet and you want to do that for 30 seconds or so. Wow. 
why I went back up. See as long as we go 30 seconds or so on that as well. So we're just going to do that for 30 seconds, guys. Alright, so I did that for 30 seconds. Now what you want to do is keep your interactions menu open. And if you're on Xbox, it'll put your Xbox menu. Or if you're on PlayStation, it'll put your PlayStation menu. And just wait till you get kicked for being idle. I'm going to turn off my mic to the video until I get the screen that says I've been kicked for being idle. So I'll be back with y'all in just a minute here. But my screen will still be showing the way it is right now for y'all. As y'all see, I have been kicked from being idle. So now I want to do is just accept the alert. And it's going to throw me into a public session. And all I want to do is go to a clothing store and save the outfit first. Now you can stay inside that public session and customize the outfit after saving it. it but I'm not going to do that because public session does lead to a lot of griefers and the store get risk of being closed so I'm going to save the outfit and I'm going to find me a new session real quick and go into invite only I wasn't invite only before starting the glitch so just bear with me So when I load in here, I should have the outfit with the IA badge. And as you see, I do have the outfit. So it did work successfully. I was able to hit it first try. I was able to hit it first try. Now I want to just go to any clothing store on the map. And I want to save the outfit. Once I do so, I want to equip the outfit a few times to make sure I force game save. So I'm just going to go to any clothing store to save the outfit. So I'm just going to grab one of my cars here and make my way to the clothing store right around the corner. But before I leave here, I will go into passive so I do not get blown up or anything since I am in a public session.
So I'm just going to go right around the corner here to the clothing store, the nearest clothing store to where I'm at. So I'm just gonna go inside the clothing store and I'm going to walk up here to the counter and I'm going to press right on D-pad, go to my saved outfits, and I'm gonna hit edit save outfits. Now all my outfit categories are full pretty much except for this one. And I'm just gonna name this badge. Two, since I already have a badge one and there we go it is saved so I want these back out completely and now I want to put my interactions menu go to style and I want to equip the outfit a few times so then it does save so after equipping it a few times it will be saved now to show you that it's saved I'm gonna to go to a different session and also some don't avoid the, avoid the uh, store getting closed by someone coming in here and shooting up the place or anything like that trying to grief so I'm just gonna to go to a different session and I'll load in with the outfit on I do have it saved already so I'm just gonna go into an invite only and I will then show you how to make your own custom outfit with the IA badge. So now I'm inside of here. My invite only still got the outfit on. It did save successfully. So now I just want to make my way to the clothing store so that I can make my own custom outfit with this glitch. Gonna grab me another car here. Actually, let me use this car over here. Here, so I'm just gonna hop in my car, and I'm gonna make my way to the clothing store, and I can then make my own custom outfit. So we're back here at the clothing store. And I'm just gonna make my way inside. Now that I'm inside the clothing store, what I want to do is very simply just make my own custom outfit. I can go to any of these clothes racks. So I'm gonna go into tops and I'm gonna show you that I can keep the IA badge. As you see, it does glitches through this. Now some things it will not show up on or some things it will not, uh, glitch through so as you see towards the bottom it's not glitching through but there it is glitching through Ew. I'm just going to show you all the different categories it does still show so I'm just going to make something very simple here very easy so bear with me guys I'm just going to make me an outfit yep. and I'll be right with y'all All y'all want to do is pick out the clothes that y'all want to wear and then save your outfit. So there we go, got my best. So there we go with that. So I got my best on. Now I'm going to go over here to pants. Choose my type of pants that I want to wear. So I got my pants on. 
Now I want to come over here to shirts. I can go in any shirt category. Spiker cut, sorry. Can do this here as well. You can pretty much do anything, guys. You can do festive tops. Anything pretty much does work, guys. You do not need to have anything specific. So, you can really choose any type of shirt to wear. So, you can just go to pretty much anything, guys. So I'm just going to choose that. Then I'm going to go over here and get my shoes that I want to wear. As you see, I'm still wearing the IA badge and I'm still making my outfit. So I'm just going to come over here to my shoes now. As you see, I'm not losing the IA badge by doing this. I'm just going to put on my boots here. But I can choose any type of shoes. I can even get a hat with this outfit. So I'm going to come over here and get me a hat. I'm going to choose me a type of hat here. Any type of hat will work. As you see, I'm still keeping the IAA badge. And whatever outfit I do make, I just want to go back to the counter and save this outfit. So I'm going to go with this hat here. And now I want to get rid of the glasses because I don't want my character wearing glasses. And I'm just going to go over here to accessories. I'm going to walk over here to accessories. And I can go to glasses, everything. And, and I can do whatever I want to. Now chains. If I go in the chains and I go down any of these it will remove the IA badge but right now it's set to none but the game thinks I have no chain on but I have the IAA badge so earrings if I choose an earring type it will it'll take away my earpiece there now I do not want the earpiece on so I'm just going to hit no again so it does remove my earpiece so my character is not wearing an earpiece at all. Oh, and I could do also same thing with watches. Because my character had a watch on. Well, no, he doesn't have a watch on now. But when I did the uh, glitch originally. Hey, and I came out of the job. My character did have a watch on. So my outfit is pretty much done here. Here, except for my character wearing glasses so I'm gonna come over here to the glasses and I'm going to press right on d-pad on that and I'm gonna go to no glasses and I'm still wearing the IA badge now I walk over here to the counter press right on d-pad go to my save outfits and all I want to do is find an outfit that I don't mind losing here since on my Outfit slots are currently full. And I'm just going to put it over. Or this here. So I don't have two of the outfits. Now you can. Now I will tell you this here. You can go into the job and get each of the outfits from each job. Uh, like you can go into the job and get every outfit. That the job offers like I showed you them earlier in the video but really you only need one outfit with the IA badge to make your own custom outfit but you do not need to go and restart the job unless you want to click the other outfits as well but I'm just going to find me an outfit here that I don't mind losing I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this one on because I really don't do the telescope glitch anymore or 
you can do the telescope glitch if y'all want to. Now I can't make a video on that if y'all do want me to. So I just want to go in my edit outfits here. And I'm going to go to that outfit, the yellow. And what I want to do is I want to delete outfit. And I want to confirm. I want to delete it. And I'm going to name this custom. Bad. Two. Name it custom badge two. So it is saved. Now what I want to do is just back out. And I want to open up my interactions menu. And I want to equip the outfit a few times by going to style. So right now it's on the current outfit. So I just want to change my character's outfit a few times. So I can save it. That's all I want to do. Is that easy y'all and that is how y'all get the IA badge and also how to make your own custom outfit and there we go it is now saved and if I go into any other session now I will load in with this outfit since so this because this is the outfit I have on right now but if I do change my outfit and change it back to this I will still have this outfit so there you go I hope y'all found this glitch very easy and if you need help with it just ask one of my staff members or one of my discord members or me to help you out in the discord server for gta that i do run and also please leave this video a like a comment and subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and i hope y'all have a great rest of your day and i will catch y'all inside the next video